Aquas. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Excuse me. This is from October 12th to the 21st. So for those who are new to my channel, hello. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for liking, subbing, sharing, commenting, viewing. I think I got all the bases there. Um, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you, okay? So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly, or it could be someone within your environment, your physical environment, or your energetic environment, someone you're energetically attached to, and the roles can be reversed because energy is not linear, it's fluid, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen, then we're gonna go ahead and do the reading. So, Aquas, the energy I picked up on you was kind of, was a little intense, but it feels good, it feels positive. I actually heard the word pioneer, I heard the word pioneer, which is so Aquarian, is it not? Um, you guys are fixed signs, but you're also the aliens of the Zodiac. You, you think outside the box. You're the first person to be like, I got an idea and it's different. You know, that's like, that's the first words out of an Aquarian's mouth. I have an idea and it's different from all of yours. Um, Aqua, I feel like you're taking on a new challenge here. Whether it's just a new perspective or something that you're else that you're trying out new, it does feel like something that you're doing solo. It doesn't have to be. It can be a new relationship, you know, or dealing with a new kind of individual that you're not used to dealing with, um, or a new project at work, a new dynamic, whatever. Uh, but um, I almost said Pisces. You know what the Pisces you have on your chart. Anyway, Aqua, coming back to you. Um, it does feel like it's a challenge. I have to be honest. It feels a little bit like a struggle. It does feel like, like I said, it's very like page of pentacles, like new way of thinking, new way about going about something, studying something new, learning something new. And it is a challenge. Like I kept getting visuals of like literally climbing up a mountain, but not just like climbing, like, uh, uh, like ropes are involved. Gravity is working against you. Feels a little bit like a challenge. And some of you guys are getting discouraged really easily. Try not to get too discouraged here, Aqua. This is happening for a reason and it does feel positive. It feels like it's going to be worth the efforts, whatever it is, okay? If it's in your relationship, you're finding it challenging. There's something about it that feels like it's going to be worth the effort, okay? Um, then I heard black and white, which I thought was interesting. Black and white, because I was like, it's like it was, bleh, bleh. not everything is black and white, right? Um, which is interesting they gave that to me because it's like, Aqua, I feel like your response to that would be like, well, what about color? You know, <laughs> I feel like that would be an Aquarian's response. Um, but yeah, not everything is black and white is actually what they told me specifically. But I, I, like I said, I feel like that's what your response would be like, well, what about color? I feel like you are, that's part of the reason you're discouraged. Aqua, that's part of the reason you're discouraged. That's part of the reason you're feeling a little like, oh, I don't know about this. Like, I don't know. This is coming out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. You're a lot more challenging. Or there's more obstacles present than you probably thought there would be initially to whatever it is you're trying to do, okay? Um, for some of you, this could just be like you're up against bureaucratic bullshit, like black and white rules, black and white facts, black and white laws. And you're just like, you know, your brain, your Aquarian mind is just like thinks outside of the constraints of that, right? But this is what you're dealing with. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I feel like you guys are dealing with red tape stuff. Red tape bullshit, red tape nonsense, um, contracts, legal stuff. It's like that kind of that kind of thing. Or you could be dealing with someone who is very black and white in the way they go about things or the way that they think. And you're having a really hard time dealing with that. Like you are so creative and you are such an outside of the box thinker. And it's like whatever situation you're finding yourself in, it is new. And it's really challenging for you because it's you have to take on a new perspective or a new way of doing things to deal with the situation or the person. And you're just like, you're tired of the gray scale. You're like, I want some red. I want some blue. I want some green. It's like, you want to be creative. You don't want to be constrained by black and white bullshit or red tape bullshit or legal bullshit. bullshit. You don't want to be constrained by any of that. So this is part of the struggle here, Aqua. I just heard Libra. It's part of the struggle here, Aqua. But you can handle it. You can definitely handle it. Don't get discouraged just yet. It is hard. But some of the hardest things are have the biggest payoffs. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get the cards calibrated. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, <laughs> they actually just showed me like rainbow colors. <laughs> and not quite. It's funny because I feel like the more this energy the system, the man, whatever, like whatever this black and white thing or mentality is that you're like really fighting against. I feel like the more it pushes up against you or the more it's like putting pressure on you to like be more in the box or be more like, what's the word I'm looking for? Conform a little bit. Like the more they do that, the more you want to put on all your rainbow. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like it though. I like it. <laughs> 
Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. They're showing me hippos and rhinos, which is interesting because rhino came up in the Libra reading. Um, <clears throat> They're, and I feel like their energy is very different from yours. So if you have Libra in your chart doing the Libra, go ahead and check that out. Check that, that check out that video. Um, but hippos, I do like hippos. I feel like hippos are about strength. Oh. I'm feeling a lot of like Empress energy with that. I'm feeling a lot of Empress energy with that. It's almost like you need to get through this obstacle to reach that very yummy, kind of abundant, strong feminine strong kind of energy that's not the way to say that but you know what i'm getting at please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it oh aqua i just heard take no prisoners oh, i like it i like it take no prisoners please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for aquarius someone like venus and jupiter october 12th to the 21st you can get through this, Aqua. You can get through this. Even if, if you've dealt with similar situations, I don't think it's been to this capacity, to this extreme, which is why you're just like, what the fuck am I getting myself into kind of energy here? <laughs> so Aquarian. Anyway, <laughs> placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. A lot of you, this is purely career. Some of you, this is within a relationship and you're dealing with someone that you're not used to dealing with. But even your intuition's telling you to do it. Like, yeah, even if you're, if you're dating someone or you're finding yourself in a new relationship and it's challenging you or it's triggering you, it's like some, your intuition's like, keep it going. Like, it's, there's a benefit here. There's a benefit here. There's a lesson here. Okay. There's a big payoff in this. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Mm. Ooh, Emperor in reverse. Oh, <laughs> black and white. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Mask energy. I feel like this is the energy you're, you're rubbing up against here. Not in a sexual way, maybe for some of you, but you know, it's interesting. I think you're having a lot of trouble with this aqua because this is a very controlling person, okay? This is someone who needs to have control, needs to have the say-so, needs to be the boss, needs to be the big man, okay? Because they're not very confident within themselves. They're not very grounded within themselves. And so being the big boss, big man, getting the last say, female or male, doesn't matter. It's just energy, right? It's not gender, it's energy. Um, makes them feel good and that's where they need to be and aqua you are very creative you're very free-flowing it's like i don't i don't listen like i'm gonna do whatever the hell i want to do right <laughs> but this is an energy you have to deal with in the process and you're having trouble with that and a lot of trouble with that please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for aquarius someone rising venus and jupiter so this is a straight up boss so it's a straight up boss or a co-worker here that you have to deal with and you know there's no way around it you know it's going to be in your benefit to see it through. Oh my. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it's, this is like my way or the highway kind of energy. Yeah. I'm almost getting like shattering expectations as well. Yeah, whoever this is, it's like you guys have a lot of friction here. I can feel it. There's a lot of friction here where it's like, Aqua, I feel like you speak a lot of truth. You're Aquarius. Um, you're speaking a lot of truth and usually you're very charismatic, but this person is kind of like not having it. And there's something about their expectations that it's like you're pointing the holes out, pointing out the holes. You're pointing out the holes in their expectations, their standards of what they expect and how they expect shit to happen. And it's almost, it, and it's kind of a rude awakening for them, which is why I think they push on you so hard or why it gets a little frictional or gets a little combative because then it's like, they, they kind of know you're right. <laughs> they kind of know you're right, but they don't like it. It just makes them more agitated. It makes them more irritable. It makes them way more irritable. I'm also getting something about lies here for some of you. Oh, romance. Thank you. This is I'm getting into a romance energy. This is probably going to be for a different group of you where this emperor lied straight up. Lied about what to expect from them. Lied about their standards. Lied about their expectations. Um... I don't like that energy. 
I really don't like that energy, but that's what I'm getting. Like straight up lied about what they expect from you or expect out of a relationship, and it feels like it's romance. That's some bullshit. Sorry. It is. That's some straight up bullshit. Mm. Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Hmm. Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Look at this. Four, four, not four of wands. Whoa, 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 whoa. Four of swords, Libra energy, and the nine of pentacles. Aqua, that is like, this is you, okay? <laughs> With that Virgo energy here. This is you trying to gain understanding and clarity on how to do this, how to deal with this person, how to deal with the struggles of the situation. You gotta have discipline in this. Don't let yourself get discouraged. It's gonna pay off. You know it's gonna pay off. Your intuition's telling you that it's gonna pay off here. Take your moments too, Aqua is what they're telling me. Take your moments with this person. Take your time out moments. Like when it gets to be too much, be like, I need a couple days away from your ass. <laughs> Go and take your couple days, right? Four, four of swords. Go and take your couple days. Get your energy back. Get your mind right. Get grounded again. And then get yourself back into the climb. You know what I mean? I like it. Okay, Aqua, this is going to be really interesting. I'm kind of excited. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know that these are very general readings, so the messages will not be for everyone, as you heard me set the intention here, okay? If it's not your message, it's not your message. No need to throw hate or shade. Go ahead and check out any other reader on YouTube. They're all quite fabulous, okay? A lot of great fabulous ones out there. We are working with energy, so just know it can be reversed or vice versa. So if the, if the reading is resonating, just switch the roles if you have to, okay? Um, also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, like I said. When I was talking about the emperor, we all have masculine and feminine energy. And don't get hung up on the time frame of this reading either. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading, is when you're guided to watch it. Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? And that nine of pentacles, by the way, that I showed you of that climbing woman is my pre-empress card. Yeah. You can do it, Aqua. Just take your moments. Take your moments when you need it. I feel a lot of frustration from you. A lot of frustration. Mm. And all that color in the four swords. I'm like, yeah. Uh, you're dealing with someone who's a little rigid. A little stubborn. A little set in their ways. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Most of you, this is work. Some of you, this is romance. So take it as it resonates within that aspect of your life. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Wow, judgment in reverse, big ass, what the fuck do I do here if I've ever seen it? <laughs> Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Yeah, this is you trying to figure out how you can do, how you can finish your climb. <laughs> how you can finish uh, getting to where it is you need to go in this situation. Learn whatever it is you need to learn. Just finish the struggle. Let's see. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the... Oh, that's too many. Oh, but we'll take this one. It's the only one that was face down. <laughs> I love tarot. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Again, also my pre card. This is definitely you, Aqua. This is the epitome of your energy in this reading. Oh, come on, focus. It's so intense. It's so freaking intense, too. Yeah, this is you being like, what the fuck do I do about this? <laughs> Aqua, stick it out. Your intuition's telling you to stick it out. I can feel it. There is going to be a big payoff here. Now, if you're going through abuse, obviously, like the big obvious shit that you shouldn't be dealing with, then then you then you know not to do that. You don't need me to tell you to not be abused. You know that. You know that. This is just like dealing with someone who's difficult, okay? Or dealing with a difficult situation. <laughs> Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Whoa. Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars energy. Is this a past tower or a pending tower? Pending. It's a pending tower, Aqua. Interesting. Are you going to shake shit up here? I think you're going to have a confrontation with this person. You're going to have a confrontation with this person. It's a, And they kind of need a reality check. In all honesty, with that energy I was feeling, they do need a little bit of a reality check. It's going to be interesting how this plays out because you're in that mode of like, 
this is a struggle and I need to do this and I know it's like a new experience for me. I know it's a new situation for me, but I need to figure out a way to deal with this person. I feel like this is that moment of you guys figure out how to deal with each other. Interesting. Well, we're going to look into that. Don't worry. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Whoo! Ten of Wands, Sag energy. This is the burden you're carrying. It landed right on top of the Nine of Pentacles. Look at look at that. Oh my God, and he's on a mountain too. That's funny. Look at that. That's funny. Some of you guys have been in the struggle together. As much as you've been struggling with this Aqua, I think the other person's been struggling just as much. This is a tower that needs to happen because it, it it's a struggle. It's a struggle, and something has to give here. Aqua, I think that's why your intuition's telling you to stick this out. Again, for those who are not in abusive situations, <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that. Um, I think that's why your intuition is telling you to stick this out because this burden, I think, will be lifted. There, there's a tower moment coming in this situation here, a very much needed one that's going to make your climb a lot easier here. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th Ooh, to the 21st. Oh my. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. If there were, <laughs> it's so obvious here, Aqua. Look at the energies here. This is your energy in the situation. This is their energy in the situation. And the tower is right in the middle. Hold on, actually, hold on. Let me hold it this way. Mm, okay. This is the energies of your re <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just smelled someone. I'm like, <laughs> sorry, not to sound disgusting. I just smelled someone. Um, I don't even know what fl what flavor to call that. It was like a perfume lotiony. Wasn't Bath and Body Works? That was so crazy. It was like, whoa! I just got hit in the face with it. It's like a laundry linen, but like the artificial kind. That's why I'm like, it's got to be lotion. It's got to be like a like a laundry fresh air kind of lotion scent. That's interesting. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like my actual smell to get intruded upon or scent anyway. Anyway, Aqua, bringing it back to you. That was just very weird. So here's your energy in this. Like, what the fuck do I do? I'm struggling. I'm struggling on this climb and I'm dealing with this person. Somebody's telling me to stick it out because I think it's going to be a really big payoff. It's a new situation for me or a new relationship or a new way of looking at things or a new study, whatever. This is the other person. King of Pentacles universe and the Ten of Wands. I feel a lot of ego with this person. And there's a tower moment coming between the two of you. Okay. This person, like I said, I'm getting a lot of ego off of them. I'm also getting a lot of worry. A lot of worry and concern, and they don't show that to you. Aqua, whoever this is, they don't show that. They don't show their worry on their face. They don't show their concern. They don't show their insecurities, but they've got a lot of them. They've got a lot of them. This is someone who's not very sure of themselves. Also someone who's a little um, focused on the wrong things because of those insecurities or because of those worries and concerns, okay? They're burdened, you're burdened, and the tower is coming. Overall energy, we do have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Oh, and looky here. We've got a Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water with the star underneath that. Aquarian energy. And there's that Four of Wands that I psychically picked up on. Aries energy. It's a whole lot of reversals for the overall energy here, Aqua. But I like that the Nine of Swords in reverse because I feel like this is anxiety and fear, like almost like your discouragement and their concerns. It's kind of a mutual energy dissipating, but this energy I don't like. I don't like this. Queen of Swords in reverse, the Star and the Four of Wands. Someone's not sharing their, their, someone's not communicating. Someone's not communicating their concerns or lack of faith in a foundation or a team effort here. Someone's not talking about it. Someone's not talking about it. And Aqua, for you, it's that discouragement of like, can I do this? Can I deal with this person? Can I actually make this happen? And over here, it's this person's controlling behavior that comes out because of their insecurities about making this shit work. There's a tower coming between the two of you, okay? So let's focus on you, Aqua. And let's look at judgment in reverse. What is spellcasters calling me? Tell me about judgment in reverse. You have a lot more stability in the situation than the other person, and they don't like that. You are a hell of a lot more stable than they are. You're a lot more grounded than they are, but they, they like to make you think otherwise. They might even say things every once in a while where you're like, did that fucker just say that to me? Like, you know, they'll make you go, er? like, they really just said that. 
it's because they know that you're more secure, that you're more confident in yourself than they are, and that really drives them batty. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Aquarius. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. They might even give you a harder time compared to other people. Like if this is a work situation and there's like other people in the office or in the environment, they might give you the hardest time, Aqua, and you're probably like, why does this person always have to fucking pick on me, right? It's because they're feeling a little threatened. They're a little intimidated because you're so confident. Yeah, it threatens them a little bit. A little power trippy, but it, there's ego there, right? Talking about judgment in reverse. Talking about judgment in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talking about judgment in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. <laughs> Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. How do I get rid of this burden? You're both burdened. It's funny that the Ten of Wands is coming out on their side and on your side, you're like, how do I get rid of that? That burden that that person brings to the situation. Yeah, yeah, Aqua, you recognize that they're kind of the problem. No Tina Shade, I'm sure they're a good, a good person at heart. You know, I feel like everyone deep down has got a nugget of something in there, at the very least a nugget, at the very least. It just depends on if it's like, you know, like the size of a grain of sand or, you know, the size of like, the Grand Canyon, right? <laughs> Different in everybody. Anyway, but it's interesting because you definitely recognize that they are kind of bringing a lot of the burden and stress and the problems to the situation, making it way harder than it has to be, making it way harder on you than it has to be. Um, and you're like, okay, that needs to be done away with. That needs to be done away with. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Ooh. Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy with the Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy here. Six of Pentacles in reverse, a very taking, very selfish kind of situation here. You feel like this, yeah, you feel like this person is bringing so much burden that it's actually like taking away from your experience. And you hate that. You hate that. And you're having a really hard time emotionally not letting that bother you. Which I get, I totally understand. But yeah, it, it's bothering you on a lot of levels. First, it just bothered you like on a mental level, like, okay, like this person's rigid, this person needs to control, this person needs this, that, or the other. Almost like you think this person needs to be coddled a little bit because they lash out. That's interesting. That's only gonna be for a couple of you. But now it's bothering you on an emotional level because now it's actually impeding on your happiness. And you're like, I did this for my happiness because I know it's gonna pay off and now it's become too burdensome. Something needs to change. The tower will come, the tower will come. Let's keep it going. I want fair treatment. That's what I just heard, Aqua. I want fair treatment. I deserve fair treatment. It doesn't have to be this hard. You're right. It doesn't. Talk about judgment in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about judgment in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about judgment in reverse. Ay! Hold on. Lost a card. Wee. So far. Okay. So you have three cards out here. Ooh, ooh, aqua. I like it. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn, Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy, and then the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. I love this aqua because this is what you have your eyes on. This is what you have your eyes on. Getting as many options out of the situation as possible and putting a lot of a lot of work into that and starting a whole new cycle that's gonna open a lot of doors. Whether this is in business, or relationship and in a relationship with the options i'm not saying that you're gonna go single if you are you are you already know that um but i feel like this is more about like bringing back like the possibilities between the two of you if this is a romantic relationship and putting effort in those possibilities of like hey we could bring sexy back into this we could bring like all of everything like, all the happiness back into this we could bring the flirty back into this we can bring the play back into this like thinking of the emotional stuff that you could bring back that's positive if it's a romantic situation. Again, if this is work-related, you're focused on getting as many options and doors open as freaking possible. That's your end game. That's your goal. And I think you understand that that's the big payoff, that it can really elevate you from, from Nine of Pentacles to the Ten or from the Nine to the Empress mode, that hippo energy, right? And taking no prisoners in the process. I 
I really like that. Overall energy though. Oh, that's so funny. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water with the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, from the nine to the ten, that's your focus. Uh, Virgo energy, and then we have a King of Cups. Ooh, my. Scorpionic energy could also be water or, or uh, that's interesting, air, but I heard fire. We know the fire sign could have that in your chart. They could have that in their chart. So Aqua, this is interesting to me because this has been a major struggle for you. You want that Ten of Pentacles stability, whether it's just career and opening a lot of doors in the process or it's, you know, family relationship related where you want to bring all of that fun and all the different happy, positive, emotional shit back into it to make it very stable and a very happy, loving, very filled with a lot of love here kind of a situation. But Queen of Wands in reverse, you, you're, you're, you, you've had it. <laughs> you're out of patience. You're out of patience to make this happen. I feel like King of Cups is acting as just an energy, not a person. The love and stability in career and or relationships and or family is your end goal. And you know you can get it. You know you can. I can feel it, Aqua. You know. You already know. Your intuition's telling you. You can make this happen. You're at the nine. You can get there. But Queen of Wands in a verse, you are kind of fed up with this whole situation. Whew. All right. Now, before we look at the tower that's coming, let's look at the Ten of Wands attached to this person. Okay? Let's look at the, this burden that they're bringing to the table. Um, actually feel in legacy. Let's go for legacy. So I have the Ten of Wands. So I have the Ten of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. So I have the Ten of Wands. So I have the Ten of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Now, Aqua, at the end of the day, you're going to decide what's best for you. You're all in different situations, like very, you know, detailed different situations, working with very similar energy. At the end of the day, you're the masters of your own life and only you can make those kind of decisions for you, okay? So you might just decide it's not worth the struggle and walk away. That's your choice. Others are going to, you know, see it through. So it's totally up to you, Aqua. So I have the Ten of Wands. I'm just telling you what your options are. I'm just the messenger. So I have a ton of wands for Aquarius regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Okay. So I have this ton of wands. So I have this burden attached. Whoo! Chariot, Cancerian energy, and Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. This is interesting. Is this a secret? Hold on. Wanting to move past confusion. For some, I'm also getting mental illness. I got to be honest here. I'm getting a little mental illness on part of this this person. That's definitely not for all of you. But their burden that they're bringing in, they want to. They they don't want to be overwhelmed anymore. They don't want to be overwhelmed. They also don't want to be confused. What are they confused about? Them so themselves. One eleven, by the way, when I looked at the stove. Um, yeah, this person's got a lot of emotional overwhelm. For some, it is in the form of mental illness. Some, they're just confused about, about themselves and what's best for them because they're not grounded, right? They're not sure of themselves and they want to move past that. They want clarity in their, they want clarity about themselves. Wow, which is why they lash out. <sighs> There's that ego. Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy. I'm getting pure ego with that. Like, almost like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying because what I'm saying goes. That's what I'm getting with that. Yeah. So I have the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. So I have the Ten of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. So I have the Ten of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, wow. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. This is reevaluation. Reevaluation, trying to reinvest, figuring out where to input their efforts and time, an energy of stagnation. This is also why they're burdened, because they don't know how to figure their own shit out. They don't know how to figure their own sh shit out. They don't know how to. They want to. They don't know how to figure it out. Overall energy, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, instability. Yeah, and then Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. They want to move past that, but then they've got that freaking monkey on their back of the devil, Capricorn energy. 
they want to move past instability within their own being they don't know how to do that because for some it is a mental illness issue not making fun of mental illness i'm just the messenger here others are just purely confused on what they want for themselves and purely confused on what is really making them happy because they've got a freaking ego problem that's keeping them from really trying to put in their efforts in the right way for themselves like investing in themselves in the right way making changes within themselves for the right reasons and in turn, if they can't do that for themselves, they can't do that with anyone else or any other situation, which is why there's so much conflict here. And they want to be past this instability, but they're, they're plagued by this devil energy that is part of this ego problem. Okay? Wow. Let's look at the tower. Go with Rider Waite on this one, and then we'll pull some advice. Where are we at? Oh, we're at 30 minutes. <laughs> Didn't think I was talking so much. Do I have the tower in reverse? Do I have the tower in reverse for Aquarius? Do I have the tower in reverse for Aquarius? Do I have the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love? I just heard June. I just heard June. Do I have the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Something could have happened in June between the two of you. Do I have the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Play with the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. I'm getting a sense of jealousy too from this um, masculine energy here, this King of Pentacles energy, Aqua. I'm getting a sense of jealousy, 3113, when I looked up at the camera. Play with the tower in reverse. Play with the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, October. Ay, yep, seven of swords in reverse. Getting a lot of ego there. Yep, a lot. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of ego here. And just a lot of just inappropriate behavior is being addressed. And it's about past behavior, past events being addressed in this tower moment. So I have the tower in reverse. Aqua, I feel Aqua or my nine of pentacles people. I feel like this is really going to benefit you having this tower moment. It's going to feel good. Yeah, I feel like it's going to feel good. It's going to feel liberating no matter how it comes in. So I have the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, because it's addressing all their bullshit and all the obstacles they put up in the way of whatever it is that you two have been involved in together. Again, for a lot of you, this is work related. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Some of you, it is romantic related. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. By the way, you could be um. A cap aqua cusper, but not necessarily. Tell me the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So in a swords in reverse with the devil in reverse, cappy energy and the star Aquarian energy. Like I said, for some of you, this tower is really positive where it's going to feel like it's all out in the open. It's all out on the table and like you guys can heal the situation by getting rid of this double energy that's keeping this person bogged down as a burden that's based in like egotistical inappropriate behavior you know a lot of just like pressure on you or not hearing you out it's just it's it's shitty behavior it's asshole behavior male or female it's asshole behavior but we're leaving that and addressing it and letting healing come in okay some of you like i said will work through this with this person others you're just going to choose to be like ain't worth the time ain't worth the struggle i'll walk in the fuck away overall energy <clears throat> Two of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy, and then we've got Justice in reverse, Libra energy, but then we've got the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. So this is the energy that's been occurring between the two of you. Very, very imbalanced, very unfair, very, very unfair on the part of the Nine of Pentacles person is what I've been getting, and we've already gotten that right. And it feels like there's been a major disconnect between the two of you because this person has devil energy that's been keeping them bogged down in ego. And for some, that is in the form of mental illness or even addiction. Okay, I just got addiction. Either way, this tower is addressing that, bringing illumination to it or healing. If it's just bringing illumination, I feel like you're going to wash your hands of this person. If it's bringing healing, I think you're going to try to work it out with them, okay? But this is a state that it's been in so far, but then the wheel starts to move forward because the tower is coming down and it's all being talked about or addressed in some way, shape, or form, okay? Now let's pull some advice after I get some water. Hmm. Mm, okay. <clears throat> mm. Mm, aqua. Yeah, that tower is going to feel damn good for you. For those who are my Nine of Pentacles people. 
Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? 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 One more, one more. Thank you. Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians? Ooh, hummingbird spirit, be here now. I like it. 34 breaking down to a seven. This is a timing energy, and we do have divine timing here with the Wheel of Fortune, and seven energy of being on your path and heading in the right direction here, okay? Um, mm. Ooh. Yeah, this tower I feel like is going to happen fairly soon as for whenever you guys watch this because I feel like the struggle has like it started it started and it's almost like it quickly became burdensome and because it quickly has become burdensome and you quickly have become frustrated and it quickly um started to affect you emotionally tower is going to come in not too long after not too long after it starts affecting you emotionally okay and it's okay to go there it's going to feel so relieving it's going to feel so goddamn good this tower is going to happen at exactly the time it needs to happen for you guys okay let's see what else we got here you'll sense it coming aqua sorry they're bringing me back into this you're gonna sense it i feel like you're gonna know like days before it happens i feel like you're gonna know any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Oh, nice. Dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. Yeah, it's going to feel so good. <laughs> Aqua, this time I'm going to bring you peace of mind. It's really going to make things very clear. It's going to feel like you can breathe because they're, this person's bullshit is getting addressed. Mm -hmm. This person's bullshit is getting addressed and truth will be known and the wheel will start to move forward abundantly for you, for you. It's going to bring so much, oh, so much positive energy back into your life and your environment so you can focus on getting from the nine to the 10, okay? Whether you continue to deal with this person or you just wash your hands of this person. Any other advice? Oh, that wants to come out. Oh, yeah, there's your intuition, Aqua. Any other advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Oh, heavy, heavy intuition. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. 22, which is a master number, self-mastery specifically. This is about your patience, Aqua. Your patience and like, not exactly, well, no, I guess like riding out the storm or your climb, I guess. And again, taking those little breaks when you need it. Taking the t a little time when you need it when this person becomes too much until this tower moment can happen until this tower moment comes in i feel like this tower moment is going to be almost like um something they're some kind of bullshit they're doing is brought to light i don't think by you though i don't think by you i think it's going to be a moment of like there's no way we can't talk about what you just did or there's no way like i think a mistake is going to happen or it's going to be revealed something like that yeah like there's no way we can't talk about this now or there's no way we can't look at your shit now it's so like if it's in the workplace you know they could really fuck up and like you know big boss could be like yo king of pentacles what the hell's up with this you know it's like that kind of energy yeah it's gonna be something that's out of your hands that's gonna make this tower happen to where it's like this shit's out and there's no way now we're not gonna talk about it but through your intuition you're gonna know exactly when this one's gonna happen like yeah you're gonna feel it you're going to feel it. This is also having the wisdom and knowledge on how to handle this situation, even if it is a struggle, even if it is discouraging. Like I said, take your moments where you can, Aqua, to kind of recalibrate yourself to deal with this very frictional energy, okay? Overall, Owl Spirit. You see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a 7. We do have mirror numbers here, just saying. 43 and the 34, very synchronistic. Some of you this can involve a counterpart, but I don't. I really don't think that's the case. If it is, I think it's only for a couple of you. And it could be breaking away from this person to go towards a counterpart. I don't think this King of Pentacles is very, yeah, I really feel like it's not the case for, for most of you, okay? Either way, this is a very high priestess energy. Again, I'm getting that self-mastery with you. This is a lesson learned for you, Aqua. 
This is a lesson learned. You haven't dealt situation to this extreme before or this caliber before or someone who's this frictional or black and white in their thinking or this controlling. You haven't and you know you have to deal with this person to get to your 10 from your nine and you're just trying to write it out and that's practicing the wisdom. Also, I'm getting a lot about like keep, you know, watching your words with this, like um, not giving it all away what you know. That's interesting. Not giving all away what you know about this person or situation. And I think you're going to get a lot of intuitive hits here about what's to come. Like I said, you're going to know when this tower is going to happen. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it a couple of days out. But keeping quiet about what you know is actually going to benefit you. You're going to have an upper hand with that. You're going to have an advantage. And when this moment happens, oh, you're going to feel so damn good. It's going to be a very peaceful moment for you, Aqua. Your mind is going to be quiet. You're going to be all relaxed. You're going to be like Jello. You're going to be like Jello and everything in its own time too, Aqua. Okay? You got this. This is, be, this is going to be in your benefit. It's going to be a struggle, but it's going to pay off. Okay? Whether you walk away or decide to keep dealing with this person. I think a lot are you going to walk away, honestly. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aquas. Namaste.